for baseball of the minor league variety as the show brings you coverage from the AAA East. Today, we've got a good matchup in store between the Louisville Bats and the Rochester Red Wings. It's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Stepping up is Nick Senzel. He will lead this one off today. Heading out towards shallow right. Wiseman has to come in a few steps, but he has it for route number one. Next, it'll be Jesse Winker. His past numbers with Steven Strasburg. He's gone three for six. Now the 2 1 pitch. Down to three and one. Very nice afternoon, high skies and 77 degrees at game time. Now the three and two pitch. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming up. And that's into the corner of foul ball and right. Three, two, one more time. And he lays off here, ball four, and he'll become the game's first base runner here with one away. Next to hit is Logan Morrison. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Again, he sends it out of play. Ready to deliver the one and two. Turned on, but it's wide at first and foul. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three times in a row with off speed. Neither guy giving in here, and they'll do it again. Here he comes again, one, two. two ball. Well, what do you two do strike. when guys keep fouling pitches off like this? I guess you could back them off the plate by throwing one inside. Fouled away. Winker, base runner at first with one out. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes That's out number two. The right fielder, number 15. Strasburg comes set. We'll try to put him away here on two and two. And this one runs in on him as he can't get his arms extended. A great pitch there, and the inning is over. Victor Robles digging in now. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. Ripped on the ground to first. Morrison's there, and he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. So next to bat will be Jeremy De La Rosa. 1-1. Smoked on the ground up the middle. And that is through into center field for a one-out single. That is third. The right fielder. Red. Stepping in now, Red. Red Wiseman lifted the other way to left center. Senzel is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Now with the plate is Drew Mendoza. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. The 1-1. One, one. Two out with a man at first. Throw over to the 
bag. And he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. Now the 2-1. Will not catch the zone. Ball three. That's a great call right there. Fastball away with a guy who's got some jets on first base. Almost like a hybrid pitch out. Great for a catcher if that guy's running. Easy transfer throw to second base. And a diving try and left, but he can't come up with it. And he's in safely to third as they jump ahead with a run scoring on the play. The first base. So now to the plate, Mike Ford. Ball that and down. this ball runs away for ball two, two and one. And they set up away with the fastball, but it misses three and one. Well, to me, it just looks like he's really aiming the ball a little bit right now. And it's funny, when you do that, you right. usually don't have as good a control as okay. you do when you three, just two. let it go free and easy. Out of the stretch, the 3 2 home. Pitch of the at bat is the one that finally does it as he wears him down and the inning is over. Digging in, the switch hitter, number 28. This will be his first trip to the plate in this one. Lifted down the line and left. And it's a foul ball. One two. Tried to work in the backdoor breaking ball there for a strikeout, but he just couldn't quite get it to come back to the corner. That's a really tough pitch to hit if you can spot it. Did well just to make contact there as he spoils off a good changeup. Hit on the ground out to short. Scooped up on the first, and there's one gone here to start the second. Next to hit, Jose Garcia. Jose Garcia. Well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. Grounder down the line at third. Fielded cleanly. On to first, and Strasburg's in control here, two away. So next to hit is Reese Hines. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. Strasburg on one and one. Hit on the ground to third. Reined in. Over to first, and that retires the side. Bottom of the inning now, and set to go is the second baseman, Jackson Flores. The 2 2. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Striding Not in is stop. Samuel Infante. Infante. Line drive to center field. And that's into the outfield for a one out hit. Batting in. The catcher. There's a look over to first. Back in standing. Into the box, number 38. Nope. Inside That's here with the hard stuff, and it's two and one now. Ball Fastball, three. and hmm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. Runner, Runner goes for second, but he won't draw a throw. That's taken for ball four, and it's first and Batting second up. now with one away. Rusper. 
Still showing bunt with two strikes, but he pulls it back. Three and two. Yeah, now you've got a guy up there trying to give you an out by bunting. So the last thing you want to do is waste pitches and maybe put yourself in a situation where you could walk him. The second for one on to Morrison at first, but it's not in time, and they'll have to settle for one. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Victor Robles. Two's all over the place. Two on, two out, and of course, here in inning number two. And strike three called as he says, you got to be kidding me with the side retired. Top of the third set to get underway. And next to hit is the catcher, Bo Taylor. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. And oh, we can't get out of the way of that one. So the leadoff man will be on to open the frame. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Hector Perez. A textbook sack bunt situation here. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Now a bunt attempt here. To second for one. Well, he'll put this in his pocket and be content with just the one out. Next to stand in is Nick Senzel. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. And now a fastball, but he's yeah, able to hold off on it, and it's two and one now. The offense better get it going right here, because they certainly can tell from their dugout. This guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. The three-one. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Perez rounds third and is digging for the plate. And a relay home. And the tag. Too late as he's across to tie things at one. To plate now, Jesse Winker. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Robles is there. Two gone. So now to the plate, Logan Morrison, runner in scoring position with two gone. Senzel stands at second with two gone. Nope. Now a breaking ball, but it's low. And this misses for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. The right fielder, number so here is TJ Friedel. Two on, two Friedel. out for him here in the third. The 1-1. One, one. Lying toward the gap in left center. And this is down for extra bases. And with two out, this might get them both home. He pulls into second safely as they jump ahead with a run scoring on the play. Now batting. Number 28. At the plate, number 28. No contact one there, and it's strike. one and two. A strike away now from getting out of this mess. Sometimes pitching is all about minimizing, right? So keeping it to two runs across in the inning would be huge. And the throw is in time. It's a strikeout, and the play at first goes two to three for good measure as the inning is over. Ready now is Jeremy De La Rosa as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. And he pumps the fastball by him here. Two One strike. and two now. Pitcher wants to have a quick inning right here. Capitalize on the momentum his batters have. I got to count. Two this and was two. outside quite a bit off the plate that time. Hey, they tried to tie him up on that last pitch, so I like that they went away with this one. The execution didn't work, but I like the idea behind it. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Jeremy De La Rosa is sent packing to begin the bottom of the inning. Now a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. I know he missed with a fastball right there, but this guy's arsenal. You can't figure out what he's trying to do. He's got a lot of different directions he could go in right here. And here is strike three called on the fastball. Looked to be about eye level, but it's out now number batting. two instead. A two to one score here as we play inning number three. 
And this one misses high for ball four, and they have themselves a two-out base runner. So it's a runner at first with two gone, and here is the outfielder, Mike Ford. Here comes the one-two. Misses, ball two. Mendoza is off of first with two away. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. New inning set to get underway, and stepping up as the shortstop, Jose Garcia. The 1 1. Now he turns and smokes this one into deep center field. And he will run this one down, moving to his right, and that's the first out of the inning. So the next to bat will be Reese Hines. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. And it's fouled away. Fourth inning of a 2 to 1 ball game. And another foul ball. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really three good balls, about his two fastball. Strikes. Two back-to-back. -back. Count full, three balls and two strikes. Now the three and two pitch. He's at the knees and called strike three. Next up is Bo Taylor. He was Number plunked 36. with a pitch in his first trip to the plate. And he pulled the string a bit too sharply there on a curveball as it's down around the shoe tops. That's He's fallen three. behind now, three and one. Down this is a good at bat so far here with two away. If you're going to go down one, two, three, at least make the guy work for it. He's doing that, and he's even three, gotten himself three. into a good hitter's count now. Now the three and two pitch locks him up for strike three. Leading off the inning, it'll be Jackson Flores as they'll look to spark the offense and even things up. The 1 1 is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. Yeah, guys, he's got so much respect for this guy's fastball, you could tell he was out in front on that slider. I think he goes to the well one more time with that pitch. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Friedel moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for route number one. Next to dig in, no Samuel Infante. Seven. He singled Short first stop. time up. Samuel Infante. Swung on, but it's pulled foul wide of third. A one two. Bases are empty, one man in. Oh, don't know how you lay off that one, but he did, and it's two and two. What pitch recognition right there. 90% of the guys are going fishing after that nasty slider. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. Now bat. Now to bat, number 38. Worked a walk his first time up. And here's a ball hit in the air. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Here comes the one two. He is swung on and missed strike three. Mike Freeman will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 27. Mike Freeman. And the payoff pitch. And a good nope. eye here as he takes ball four, and it's a base on balls to lead off the fifth inning. And now, Nick Senzel, hoping to build off that RBI double from his last plate appearance. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. 
looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. So he chased out of the strike zone on that one. Nick Senzel goes down for the first out in the fifth inning. And he connects with it. This one's hit deep out to left center field. Gone! Into the box now, Logan Morrison. There's strike two on a fastball right down the middle. That's a pitch he'd like to have back. You're not going to see very many pitches like that from a pitcher of this quality. I'm sure he'd like to have that one back to take a swing at it. So he gets him swinging on a pitcher's pitch. Logan Morrison becomes the second out here in inning number five. Strasburg on one and one. It's one thing to get hit around, but it's far worse when you're getting yourself into trouble by not throwing strikes. Every pitcher's been there, but it doesn't make it any less frustrating or unacceptable. Ball even at two and two. Both clubs with three hits in the ballgame. Now a fastball inside, and he works it back to a full count now. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. Now that number 28. Standing in now, number 28. Uh, good break to that thing. It's one, one and, two. and two. Hey, this is a big pitch right here. Can't allow them to attack on any more runs. Let's see if he attacks his own or buries something in the dirt. Hit out towards second. Scooped up. Throw on the first. Gets him, and the side is retired. R.J. Alaniz, the six foot four inch right hander, comes in out of the bullpen to do the pitching. Number, Number 88 will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. And he lays off for a ball, 2 and 1. A swing and a miss as that looked like self-defense there. It's two and two. Boy, that's a jam shot right there. That's as good as it gets, in my opinion. Ooh, up and in. Sent on the ground out to second. Throw on to first in time, one away. Next, it'll be Victor Robles. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Fifth inning here in a four to one ball game. Called strike on the inside, and he can't believe it at the plate. It's one and two now. Someone on this offense needs to take it upon themselves to have a quality A-B and start the line moving again. Again, a one-two. And a swing and a miss there on a late-breaking slider as he set down on strikes for the now second that. time this afternoon. The fielder, Jeremy De La Rosa. Uh, and that fastball is too much for him there. Two One and two. Early swing there as he pulls it foul to the right side. Here's another one, two. Nope. Fouled off. Ready with another 2 2. Hey, this guy's a hard guy to put away. He's fouling off some tough pitches. 2 2 count. He just seems to keep hanging right in there. Count still full, 3 and 2. Making him work out there. The ninth pitch of the at bat coming up. And he'll get to see another one. It'll be the tenth pitch of this at bat. The payoff pitch one more time. 
All over that one, but a little out in front. Foul ball. He loses him on ball four. Next, here is Rick Wiseman. And we'll see if they can make him pay for the two-out walk. Always considered a big no-no, of course. And he misses again, ball four. And that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. Third baseman. And now in the box, Drew Mendoza. It was a walk in his last trip. High fly ball out to straightaway center. And no trouble for him as he makes the catch to end the inning. Patrick Murphy please. takes over to start the sixth now, inning on the mound. Wing. Number 52. Patrick. Now it'll be Jose Garcia Murphy. 0 for 2 for him to this point. The 2-1 home. Is That's taken ball three. Ball three. Call didn't go his way on two three and ball. one, but one it's strength. important here on three and one to still make a quality pitch. You have to have the mindset that you're still the one in the driver's seat. Foul. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. This one's flared off to the right side. He dives. Did he catch that? He did. What a play there for the first out. So now into the box is Reese Hines. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Stung into the gap in right center for what should be extra bases. Around first, digging for two. And he's in there easily at second with a one out. Now back, number 36. Stepping in now, Bo Taylor. And a curveball's by him that time as he falls behind now, one and two. You chase a pitch that bad outside the zone, you got to find a way to regroup, adjust the batting gloves. Only look over the hard row 17 inches. And a breaking ball in the dirt that time for a ball. Swing and a flare down the line. Uh, and that's going to fall. A base hit. The throw to the plate. And they're not going to get him as he's in there to score. Delino De Shields will be summoned off the bench here as he'll pinch hit with a runner at first and one gone in the inning. The 1-1. One, one. Now a swing and an easy fly ball out toward right center. Robles waits on it and he makes the catch for the second out. At the plate now is now Nick Senzel. He's working on a one for Nick three thus far. Senzel. Bouncer up the middle. And that's in for a base hit. He's two for four now. Into the box, Jesse Winker. All two. Fastball well outside. Two ball, one strike. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. The 2-2. Two -two. Hit down the line at first. Fielded cleanly, He's and out. he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Mark Warren enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Now pitching for Louisville, number 77. Bottom of the sixth inning now. And next, the dangerous power threat, Mike Ford. If you look at their win percentage or something like that right now, got to be honest, the odds are obviously stacked against them. But I'm looking for them to show me something right here. Maybe they get back in this game. Maybe they don't. But I want to see what kind of at-bats they put together. This is where you have to lock in as a team. Every guy has to go up to the plate and have a good, productive A-B to get this team going. 
You froze him on the no fastball there. 22. Mike Ford is dealt Second with for the first out in the Chips bottom of the out. inning. Florida. He's set. Here's the 2 2. We There's got one that misses and inside, strikes. and the counts run full now. Three and two. Easy fly ball into shallow center field. Senzel comes on now and makes the catch in shallow center for round number two. Into the box, Samuel Infante. He's working on a one for two game so far. Right side, Morrison is there. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Ball set for the start of the inning, and that'll bring up the big left-handed bat of Logan Morrison. Turned on that one and crushed it, just pulled it a little foul. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. The right field. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, TJ Friedel. He's roped a couple of doubles in three trips to this point. And a check swing here as he couldn't help himself, and it's ruled strike two. Soft liner to the right side. And that's into the outfield for a one out base hit. Now back. Double Throw over to first. And a dive, but he's back. So now to the plate, number 28. Now a 58 foot curveball that misses for a ball. Hit on the ground to third. Reined in. One there. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Stepping in once again is number 38. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Here's the 1 and 1 pitch. Just behind the fastball there. Two strikes now. I'm interested to watch this next pitch right here. He got a swing on a high fastball. I wonder if he's going to pull the old plea sack and climb the ladder. And a Your good bite please. to that slider as he Big swings hitter. through it for the first out of the inning. Number, Number nine. nine. We'll get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Seventh inning here in a 5-1 to one ball game. to the right side that gets down and he's got himself a base hit Center field, number 16. Victor. at the plate Victor Robles a high fastball is in there runners on first with one down struck him out struck him out again I should say his third punch out of the game the left fielder. Now into the Jeremy. box, Jeremy De La Rosa. He's one for two in this one. Ready with the one-one pitch. Ah, gets him to swing at a pitch one down and out of the zone. Down. One and two. I'll tell you, if I'm pitching right now, I'm not throwing anything near the strike zone until these guys prove they can lay off it. They're just being way too aggressive. Long run for the center fielder. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Aaron Barrett's been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 32, Aaron. Digging in will be Jose Garcia. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Here's the 1 1. When you've got a guy that throws a good two seam fastball, you have to be ready for him to try to run it inside and jam you. Good job to lay off that one, but I wouldn't be surprised if we see it again. Two balls and two strikes now. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. 
lifted down the line and left. But this will wind up being a foul ball. And he comes back with one down and in for ball three. Oh, they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. Next up, Reese Hines. He hit a two-bagger and later scored in his previous plate appearance. And he's got to build off that last A.B. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at bat. Let's see if we get more of the same right here. Now to the plate, Bo Taylor. A hit in two tries so far. A one one. Swung on, but fouled off to the left. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off-speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. A ball and two strikes. Here it is. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Philip Deal is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Leading off the inning, it'll be Brett Wiseman, and they could use a spark from him here. Now playing third base and batting number one, one. Number zero. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch, but if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. And he misses again, ball three. And this is taken here for ball four. So the leadoff man's on base to kick off the home eighth. The third baseman. So here's the cleanup hitter, Drew Mendoza. He tripled earlier, making him one for two in the ball game. One and one, here it is. Now ball and two strikes now. Tough pitch to lay off there, but he did, and it's even up at two and two. From the belt, the pitch. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Here's Mike Ford. He's now hitless in three at bats to this point. Mike Ford. The 1 1 home. Makes him swing and miss on a ball, ball. out of the zone for two strike three. two. Hey, I can't have one of my best left handed power bats fishing for balls off the plate. And he'll strike out here yet again. It's been a ball game to forget thus far. Now Four back. strikeouts. The second baseman. Jackson. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Wow, kind of an interesting pitch call there. The batter flailed at the pitch away on the previous one, so you'd think you'd go right Two back ball. there, but instead Two they strikes. decided to come in. Make him prove he can adjust before you do. Got him swinging, and that's the third out. And now here is number zero. He stands in for the first time in this one. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. Check swing here as he couldn't help himself. And it's ruled strike two. Protecting with two strikes. Went out of the zone that time, but he stays alive. The 2 2 one more time. Here's a little chopper up the middle. Scooped up. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Stepping in next, now Nick Senzel. He's got two hits in four at bats. One out, nobody on. High in the air out towards shallow right. And the catch is made there. Two gone here in the ninth. Digging in next, Jesse Winker. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Mm -hmm. 
This is driven to right, and no doubt about it, that one's way out of here. At the plate now, Logan Morrison, and he fouls this one off. And this runs inside, and that looked like it got him pretty good. And stepping in, T.J. Friedel. Three hits, including a pair of doubles for him thus far. Now the 2-1. And there's strike three. So we'll see now if they can manage to hold on to this huge lead as the side is retired. Now to the plate. Here is Samuel Infante. He bounced out last time up. Yeah, I understand that, Matty, but this guy's got burner wheels down the first baseline. I don't think he even concerns himself with that. He has to put it on the ground. That's part of what makes him successful. In the air, down the line in left. Left fielder is on the move. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. So now here now is number 38. Number and he's likely just trying to put one in play here. 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts thus far. In there, 1 and 2 now. Popped up. Deal in foul ground. He's got it, and there are two down now. Jake Knoll will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number 18. No. A 1 1. Is an off speed oh, pitch taken out. for a ball. Two and two the count. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Hey, it's hard to win games at any point, but to win games on the road, especially in this ballpark, so they are very happy with this win. Six to one, the final tally today. The Louisville Bats led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. R.J. Alaniz gets the W on the mound. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to the new website, theshow.com. Our final line score.